Since his father gave him a guitar at the age of 11 and he began writing lyrics at school, Matthew's purpose has been clear, to move and entertain us. Singer-songwriter Matthew Mole is a talented, award-winning artist. Is there anything he can't do? We're going to find that out as I challenge him to a round of bowling. <laughs> like positioning pins, Matthew builds his music. First the lyrics, then rhythm and melody. Ah, not bad, brother, not bad. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice to see you, I'm well, how are you doing? Good, very well, Good stuff, man. So this is what you do before a big show? Yeah, well, I mean, it's the kind of thing I do just to clear my mind and just kind of have a bit of fun and not think about all the, the work and stuff. But are you good? I'm pretty good. From what I saw, it wasn't too bad, but yeah. I've got to tell you that when you have the Bring socks the to match the shoes, you got to watch out, man, because I broke my A game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's see. I think the, the pink ball is probably the one that's going to bring out your eyes. Oh, 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 so it's like that. Yeah. It's on. It's on. When he isn't bowling, Matt's a fan of any adrenaline fueling activities, loves movies, traveling, and time with friends. Yeah, it was not so bad. It's pretty good. That's because I got the guns, bro. Or is it the pink ball? It's the ping ball. <laughs> You're very good at what you do. Whatever you set out to do becomes very successful. Your album and video went to the top of the iTunes charts. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's crazy just to see that kind of thing happen. I'm just honored to have my music out there for the public to to listen to. That's all I really want. So I mean, the fact that it's it charts and stuff is a huge bonus, and it's just awesome to see the support from people and just like it really feels like. People are actually listening. I love it. What we've seen, all that we've learned, built up to this day. You've got a really calm demeanor off stage, but when you're on stage, you've got this huge presence. How do you get into character? Yeah, um, like so that's that's the thing for me. Playing in front of crowds is is something that it's like a challenge for me, just to to actually make people think that I'm super confident and I, and I know what I'm doing and trying to like lead people. So like, I don't know, I just, I'll go backstage and I'll try not to think too hard about everything and I'll just um, chat to the guys I'm there with, just try to stay relaxed and hopefully by the time I go on stage, I'll, I'll remember everything and it'll go smoothly. A lot's changed for you since you were last in the show. Has that influenced your music lyrically as well as musically? I think a lot has changed musically. Lyrically, there's a lot of similarities, and um, I, I wanted to, to write music that was still impactful and meaningful. But musically, I've, I've been listening to a lot of other music that's inspired what I've been writing. Like, is a lot more upbeat and, and a lot more kind of like moving than, than a lot of my other songs. I've got a song as well called Holding On that's, that's also quite like, uh, I wanted it to be meaningful. It's about um, just kind of holding on to, to stuff that's true when you feel discouraged and just pushing through that and it's all kind of like a, lot more, a little bit more electronic, a little bit more upbeat. That's what I wanted to, to bring across with this one. And I'll find mine on the right of your side. It was on his first tour to Joburg that lightning and love struck, here at a cafe called Wolves. After a two-year friendship, a first date in Durban, a proposal in London, and marriage in the Winelands, they're now Matthew and Jessica Mole. This place has great significance to you too, because I believe that this is where you met. I was playing the show and then beforehand, uh, she followed me on Twitter and then I saw this and I was like, geez, who's this girl? Um, and obviously I didn't know who she was, I never do this. So then um, at the show, I saw her there and I was like, geez, yes, I check this girl. And I've still got to play songs and stuff without kind of making it look obvious that I'm staring at this girl. I listened to her set and I was amazed, obviously. <laughs> and then um, we kind of got chatting afterwards and um, it was just, I don't know, we just connected instantly. And we, I think we spoke about like Lego or dinosaurs or something. It was, it was quite random. <laughs> we really got on well, and I just thought she was like the best human being I've ever met. So, I mean, it was awesome. I'm, I'm so glad that she came to the show. I mean. You're both creators, and Jess, you are quite the fashionista. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting a clothing line called Jessica Ann. Um, I've always wanted to to be a designer. When I was little, um, I used to sketch in this little book. <laughs> and I, um, I bought like tons of magazines and I would put them up on my walls. Um, my gran actually taught me to sew. So it's been something that I've always wanted to do, but I'm actually a teacher. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm new to the industry, but it's been really exciting to 
kind of meet new people and find out more about the industry and learn a lot. <laughs> so it's, it's a process, you know. As a young married couple, besides loving each other, is there anything you hope to achieve with your marriage and perhaps inspire others with? I mean, we definitely don't have it nailed, but I think we're learning a lot and we make mistakes. We really want to be like good role models for other young couples that look up to us. And um, I think, like we, I mean, we're not perfect. <laughs> we we love it. It's, I mean, it's. I think, uh, yeah. I think it's been it's been really cool. We just want to want to be the best that we can at it and hopefully people will appreciate that. I feel honored to be spending this day with you. It's your one year anniversary and I've created something really special for you guys. I hope you like cake. You make the cake. Bring on the cake. Oh. Happy anniversary. Oh. Yes. They also tour together and this weekend the Mole Roadshow comes to Rocking the Daisies in Darling.